Hey guys, so today I am coloring in this Monster Hunter drawing I did. It is a Brachydios in a human form, is what I did. Um, so yeah, so the first thing I'm coloring in is actually this greenish-yellow color. So I'm actually using a yellow as the base and adding a light green on top of it. It's supposed to be like this mucus substance that the creature has, and I believe it can explode. So my friend often tells me he's kind of like Bakugo from My Hero Academia, a very explosive um, creature. So I wanted to try this out. For his hand, one of his hands is the actual Brachydeo's hands, which are these giant nubs because they quite literally punch you with their fist. Um, while his other hand is like a regular hand, the reasoning behind this is because I really didn't know what would look so like what would look good for either of them. So to be honest, I just did one of each. But my theory was that when he punches you and goes in for a punch, he actually uses like it actually his hand transforms into that nub that he has for a hand that the monster originally has, and when he's just regular he can actually just have regular hands so that's why his other hand is regular so they are purple color but their undertone is like this blue color they kind of look like this weird blue color but to be honest my friend told me it was purple so yeah so what i'm doing here is i'm first coloring in the skin tone as blue like this navy blue and then i go over and actually shade it with like an actual purple that i have so that way there's like more shading and different like skin tones because a lot of the monsters from monster hunter have like these undertones of different colors which is really cool for the shading and stuff like that if you're doing realistic coloring I would say but for anime style is very hard <laughs> so the whole shading process process was like very confusing for me so I tried my best to do like the different undertones of colors so anyways I'm just coloring in his skin for his head I kept his horn um they use it for like headbutting too, which my friend told me. So literally, I did that. Um, I originally was gonna make it into hair, which my friend said because it might look weird having like this giant crest on its head, but it turned out to be pretty good for him. So yeah, I think it turned out really nice compared to what I actually thought it would turn out to be. So yeah. So now I'm just coloring in his left fist, which is actually the Brachydeo's arm. And then I am coloring in his right hand, which is just a regular human hand. I did I like the spikes for like when it transforms. So, so there are the spikes there already on the other hand as well. So yeah, and they had a whole bunch of spikes on the side of their head. So one of them I turned into his ear, and then the other ones are actually going to be a part of his hairstyle. So you'll see that later. I originally was going to just color in his hand like blue and purple, but then I added some of the mucus to his hand as well, just because I thought... Might as well have mucus everywhere since since from references they have mucus on everything basically. So yeah, I tried to add that. And now I am shading everything in with purple. I like how this turned out. It's not like just a blue color, but just mixing the colors is really fun too. So yeah, and I made the purple his lip color as well. Um... For his teeth, um, I could have drawn them a different way, but I decided to draw them like a regular person's teeth, where it's inside rather than outside, because the Brachydeos actually has, like, it's the outer shell of their, um, face that actually has the teeth. It's not, like, inside the jaw, so I kind of 
did that differently so that way they look a bit more human um so their teeth are hi hidden and i just ended up coloring their teeth in blue as well by the end of it just so that way it matches the skin tone um but yeah technically it's not supposed to be inside like the mouth it's like connected to the lips and everything for their teeth and then for his eyes i think it was like an orangey brown it's hard to see in the reference a lot of the times their eyes are really small compared to like the rest of their bodies so it's just me looking at it and like trying to figure it out so his tongue is pink but i did add some yellow and some green for more mucus in his um mouth because actually they have a lot of mucus built up in there as well so i wanted to add that i know it sounds a bit gross but oh well i've gotten used to like the fact that like a lot of things that i watch kind of like when it comes to like my hero academia and then also monster hunter creatures there's like sometimes some of the powers are just a little bit gross but you get used to it. It's all natural anyways. So yeah, for his hair, I decided to go with a light purple. The reason why I did this is just because I wanted to add more pur purple in. I thought I used like, because I use a blue skin tone, so, what, so there was actually more blue rather than purple on the skin. So I wanted to add more purple inside, like on top of it as well. So for his hair, I ended up doing more purple <laughs> just for the drawing itself i feel like this was better so that way it balanced out the fact that i drew the base of the skin to be blue so yeah now i'm just shading everything in um i gave him this kind of wavy spiky hair look um you can't see his left eye because it's covered with a lot of hair i guess I went for an emo style haircut. To be honest, the reason why I did this haircut style is because I was trying to figure out how the hair was going to go around the horn because the horn is supposed to jut out of the hair and I didn't know how to do that and I ended up doing this hair this way so I guess it works in a way um but yeah. For the clothing, I went with a tuxedo. This was just from a reference that I saw from another photo. Um, it has nothing to do with the creature itself, but yeah. So anyways, I ended up making it that he was wearing like a collared shirt and then his tux like his tux jacket is actually like on his shoulders. It's not really on him completely it's just resting on his shoulders and so i am just shading in everything um i decided to keep the clothing white just because of so many colors i know i do this a lot but this is just because the monster hunter mo like the monster hunter monsters they have a lot of color to their skin, so I kind of want to balance it out with, like, less coloring on the clothing. Um, but this is just a way to make sure that it doesn't look so busy. I don't want to add too much patterns. I'm kind of afraid of putting, like, so much patterns to the point where, it, like, you don't know what you're supposed to look at. And the main focus is supposed to be, like, the creature itself. For his, um... Text, I ended up doing this uh, green color. It's a very light green. I found out that this marker was running out of ink too, so I was trying my best to just color it in really fast and make sure everything looked okay. I eventually need to get a refill for that, so yeah. And then the pants are the same color as the jacket just because... I thought matching would look nice rather than adding another color. And then I just shaded in the whole jacket as well. 
If you guys are interested in seeing my other Monster Hunter drawings, they are in my drawings playlist. I did a couple of them. Not too many. Um, I'm still like... I just did this one just because I was like, I don't know what to draw. And my friend was like, well, you do this in a human form because they know what I draw. So I was like, sure, I'll give it a try. Um, the bottom of his, the inside of his tux jacket, though, is a white color. So it's shaded in with gray. So that's the shadow for it. So yeah, um, if you want to see... My other Monster Hunter drawings, I did a couple already, as I said before. They're in my drawings playlist. Um, I think I did Nargakuga. There's Rathalos and Rathian. And, uh, I forgot that one that does, like, spits out bubbles. I think it's Mizutsun or something. And then I did Lunastra and Teostra as well so yeah um some of them i drew together and others i drew separately but that's basically it for this video i'm just outlining everything um i have to say for this one's expression it's not as aggressive looking as the other ones um some of the other monsters that i have drawn so far they kind of look a bit more angry looking um this one is less angry so yeah i like how it turned out it's it was kind of difficult dealing with the fact that i had to shade like really dark shades but turned out pretty good um and also for his jacket, I added these orange things. I forgot to talk about that. But the orange uh, drops, they're supposed to kind of represent a pattern that's kind of like his mucus again. I just wanted to add like an extra thing rather than it just being super plain. Um, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> If you want to see his process work, it will be posted in the description box below on my social medias there. If you like and follow those, you get to see my artwork constantly. I update it around once or twice every day. I try my best to do twice, but sometimes, like, I didn't draw that much, so I try to hold back on, like, showing everything right away, like, uploading all my drawings. But yeah, if you want to see the process work, they're all there. And yeah. So almost done. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!